Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we do have a longer one, um, but this one is gonna be a good one, I promise. For today's set, we have what I refer to as my mineral water set, um, also known as the Topo Chico set, which was the initial inspiration for this design. Um, I found the inspiration artwork um, that I posted earlier in the video. I found it all on Pinterest and I first saw the Topo Chico art print and I was like, okay, this would be fun for a design. I ended up finding the Aquapana artwork as well. I was like, okay, we're going to do something fun and we're going to do um, a mineral water <laughs> inspired set, which seems kind of random, but um, I really like the way that it all came out, the design came out and how it worked out. And so yeah, we just got a really fun set here today. So I will have all the products that I use in today's video listed in the description box below. Um, for this one, I was excited to finally be able to break out my MPA palette. I got it so that I could challenge myself and use, these, use it for these type of designs. That's exactly what this set was about. It's just about pushing me out of my comfort zone, um, getting me into doing more hand painted artwork, like I said in a prior video. I used to do a lot of hand painted artwork. Um, last year and I just like I said this year earlier this year I just kind of got in my head about it and I just stopped pursuing like like more intricate hand painted art and so this was just my attempt in getting back really getting back into it um, and pushing myself this set itself did take quite a bit of time it took about two days for me to complete this set um, so I spent a few hours doing one of the hands one day and then finished up the second hand the other day. But yeah, this one took me a while. This took me probably like, I want to say about six hours to do the set all together. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's so worth it for the result.
One of the things that I was really excited to try with this set was the 3D bubble nail art. Um, it's a trend that was going around earlier in the year. Um, I saw a YouTube tutorial for how to accomplish it without using the syringe. Um, however, I struggled so much with the actual technique. Um, I was able to accomplish somewhat of a bubble nail. It kind of looks a little more like soda bubbles because they're so tiny. Um, but it still gave me what I wanted. Um, I just wish the bubbles were a little bigger. Next time I do this design, I will probably just go ahead and just try, try it with the actual syringe. Um, but yeah, that was uh, definitely the nail that gave me the most trouble out of all of them. Um, one thing that I can say, I'm sure if you guys see it throughout the video, I am constantly like curing, flash curing, um, whenever I do anything, <laughs> the design exactly how I want it to look. Um, that's just my little pro tip, FYI, flash cure every time <laughs> because you do not want to get all the way through design, be satisfied with it, and then something stupid happens because I've had that happen where you accidentally mess up or, you know, you're trying to clean up a little piece and you, uh, piece of the art where you messed up and you go over it with the acetone or alcohol and then you ended up smudging and it all starts like spreading and bleeding. Um, I've had it where I've dropped a nail and I have carpet in my house. So if you drop <laughs> the nail, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of lint all over your nail. So that's my biggest uh, tip to you guys, especially when you're doing art like this. Just go ahead, flash cure it real quick. Um, yeah, like I said, pro tip. <laughs> um, so you can see me throughout this video constantly like flash curing it. Some of it, I think I might have cut it out. But especially with the like the especially with the lettering designs, like the when I was doing the Topo Chico, I had to go in and cure it every like every time I got a T right, the, the every time I got a letter right, the, just the way I wanted it to be, I flash cured it um, because I find lettering to be some of the hardest art to do um, when you're doing nails. So that's just my my advice to you guys.
right guys that is it for this week's video i will see you guys in the next one um as of now i don't have it recorded yet but i do have a planned design that i want to execute it's going to be a really cute set um it's one of the ones that I pre-designed at the same time that I made this set. I just haven't painted this one yet. But um, I think it, I'm hoping this turns out cute. A lot of times with nails, it's always a trust the process moment. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that set. And then I'll try and get that video edited and um, post it for next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know if Christmas nails if a Christmas video is in the cards for now. I don't know if I've ever touched on this here before, but I'm just not a big like holiday nail person, specifically Christmas either. I just, I don't like being put in the box of having to do only specific designs. So um, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen this year, but uh, the next set I showed to my friend, she said it reminded her of the holidays, so. Hopefully that will be the holiday nail that we get for this year. Um, but with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.